We here today, our brothers, our sisters, families, and friends, have an obligation to turn things around, to restore confidence, and provide meaningful solutions to our national, state, and local challenges, reawakening that American spirit. And with respect to these financially irresponsible firms that have gotten us into this mess and are now being bailed out, their management ought to be fired, bad debt ought to be written down, and our Treasury Department owes us a time frame and a plan for restructure and reprivatization. We are told that they are too big to fail and that by doing so, the systemic impact would be catastrophic to our economy. Well, from now on, I say if they're too big to fail, break them up and sell. <laughs> we need a system that allows for the success or failure of institutions of any size in order to restore market discipline. With respect to government and ourselves, government spending and debt must be reined in, we as individuals must start saving again, and our workforce must start producing more than we as a people are consuming. In this 21st century, now is the time for a new generation of leadership to join with our elder statesmen and stateswomen in building a better future. We must take the helm, listening to those who have stood the watch before us while carrying that flag of freedom and putting the weight of today's problems on our shoulders. Now is the time. Now is the time to advance big ideas on tax reform, education, job creation, and fighting terrorism. Now is the time to confront bad ideas like the misnamed Fairness Doctrine, efforts to recharge the class warfare, or the terribly misleading Freedom of Choice Act. We can do so with a willingness to compromise on issues that matter while standing by principles on issues that count. As we connect with people today, on problems that they care about. We must talk in a language that they understand and that resonates with them. That will be our challenge going forward. Connecting with technology because the digital age is upon us and it's growing by the day. But the digital age empowers the individual. So that's exactly what we need to be leveraging. We will connect on energy Embracing the likes of biomass, geothermal, and nuclear, creating the jobs of tomorrow, while more domestic oil and gas production continue to create the jobs of today. We will connect on defense because we know freedom ain't free. We know that a strong military provides the blanket of freedom each and every day that you and I sleep under each and every night. And we will connect on the economy where people have jobs and business can prosper. That's the American way. This is your land. This is our land. This land of the free. As Republicans, we must champion our belief in a free, educated, strong people truly being the engine of a prosperous economy. This belief will define us. I like to tell a story of my whitewater rafting trip. And I apologize if you've heard it before. Anybody been whitewater rafting before? A show of hands? Yeah? All right. Well, you, you've been down the Arkansas? It's a class five rapid. You can only go as high as a class six. And so we're coming down the Arkansas. We've got about four boats. And the guy, once we get down, he says, look, we're going to pull these boats over. And anybody who wants to can jump off the rafts or the boats into the water and swim across and go up about 40 feet and jump back off. Everybody jumped out the boats except me. I don't know about you guys, but I don't jump off ridges. <laughs> so I'm watching folks jump off and they're having a good time. And finally I said, what the heck? I got a little courage. I jumped into the water. Now, as was said earlier, I served five years in the United States Navy. I should know how to swim. <laughs> and so I'm swimming across this class five rapids, strong current. And I'm swimming. <laughs> and I'm swimming. And I'm noticing more so than I'm going across the stream. I'm going downstream. <laughs> and nobody else is noticing. Now, my life is in front of me. I'm getting a little scared. I'm not sure what to do. And finally, I yell out, hey, I'm going downstream here. And the guide looks back over and he says, 
Put your feet down. <laughs> so I did. And I stood right up. <laughs> Literally, I was three feet from the ground. I was pretty embarrassed. But I went across that river and I went off and I, up 35, 40 feet and I jumped off. It was, it was liberating. But let me tell you, years later, years later, I, I looked back on that experience. And what it taught me, it taught me that there are times, there are times where you have to put your feet down and stand up. There are times when you have to put your feet down. And stand up for what you believe in. Stand up for what is right. Cross that river to the other side. And do what is best for this country. My friends, I am asking Republicans here today, right now. To put your feet down. And stand up for what is right. Stand up for what you believe. We must believe in ourselves. And each do our parts. Not just as Republicans, but as Americans. That is our call to duty. And we must answer that call. Tomorrow is always a new day. We cannot leave it to chance, but rather we must make the choice to unite as a party, as a people, for prosperity, opportunity, and liberty. For one day after we are all long gone from this earth, our children's children will say that these were the times where they rebuilt our shining city into the beacon of light for all the world. Thank you. God bless. Live well. Appreciate it.